Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take an image, any image, and turn it into an impressionistic or an impressionist painting a la Van Gogh or Van Gogh as some people call them. It is super easy. This is based on the Starry Night style, paint, uh, style but it's the Starry Night painting. And I'll show you how to do it step by step. So here's the original image. It's a nice lady out there walking, having fun, can hiking. And then boom, now she's in a <laughs> Van Gogh painting. Let's go ahead and start from scratch. So I'm just going to delete these layers. And actually, I'm going to delete all of this. Let's just start again from the beginning. So where do we go? We go to pictures here. We're going to go to pictures and we're going to drag and drop this picture in right here. Boom. There's the picture. Open it just like we have done. Now I'm going to left click on this lock to unlock it. And I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit more zoom so you can see a bit better here. Oh, that's a bit too much. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, so we got to zoom in here. Now, the first step is we're clicking on the layer. We want to go up to Window, and then we go to Properties. And under Properties, left-click on that, and you're going to see the Properties uh, panel open up. I'm going to drag it down a bit at the bottom. And if you don't see this, just drag this down like I just did here. You're going to see quick actions. you got remove background, select subject, and view more. Click on view more. Once you do that, it's going to open up the quick actions discover box here. And near the bottom, you're going to see swirling night sky filter. It is a quick action. I'm going to left click on it. And then you're going to see here, it gives you a little bit of a preview. And you'll see kind of what it comes out looking like. So I'm going to go to apply to layer. Now this does take a few seconds because it's using a neural filter. They're relatively new, and yeah, it does quite the calculation. But, boom, presto, it is done. Now, I'm going to left-click on the box here. I'm going to close it, and I'm going to close the properties panel. And then for a lot of you, that is all there is to it. You have your Van Gogh painting in one click. If you want to go a little further, you can double-click on neural filters here. So there's smart filters and neural filters. Left-click on this, double-click, pardon me. And then it will allow you to back off the amount of strength. So this is a very strong effect. So if I wanted to make it, like, let's say, a little less strong, I'd go down to something like 80. And also, you can change the style. So right now, we've got the Van Gogh style. But, I mean, if you're in for some Picasso, warhol -y type style, bright color type stuff, you can left-click on this style. It is calculating at the top right. And it's going to come out with a nice, cool, bright look like this. Um, it will take a few seconds, but bam, look at that, eh? <laughs> it did it. And there are a number of different styles here. So that's just a couple. Uh, this one's also very cool for you guys that are doing computer stuff. But, I mean, tattoo styles, it's all in here. It's really, really cool. Some grungy textures. But at the end of the day, this is how you can make your paintings, your, your images into paintings, basically. And finally, if you want to go ahead and change the brush size, blur the background and do a few other things like make it a little brighter. Not that this needs to be brighter, but I'll just show you, right? And then we'll decrease the brush size and we'll increase the background. I'll just show you really quickly here. It's doing a pretty serious calculation. But you can go in and dial that in as you see fit, guys. That's all there is to it. I hope this tutorial helped. I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Thanks for watching.